Hello everyone. I'm here on a new construction site. This is my uh, future house. Uh, it's on the Canadian Shield bedrock. This lot, uh, the owner could not figure out how to build a house on it. Uh, so I had to come in and look at it and figure I could put a house on a bedrock. It's got lots of advantage. Uh, it's gonna be my long journey in building a house for my family. I just wanna show you how we put this together uh at first i talked to a contractor and uh he quoted me just one contractor eighteen thousand. so i got my buddy and uh my cousin got me a, my a, his friend he brought his friend and helped me put this together um and so far i spent about eight by the time i'm done i will be close to ten thousand dollars i would say so far i spent maybe five thousand with the concrete and everything else probably going to be close to ten thousand I'll have a video on my expenses for the entire project. But first we put down this post, put up this post. We tied it to a bracket that's uh, welded with at the bottom six inch uh, rebar, number 15 rebar, we drill in there and we put that six inch with concrete adhesive and it's not going nowhere. And once we had this post, uh, we put another post using uh, bricks and all uh, different uh, brackets every five feet make sure it's all level and then we run a string line so a string line i can show you here just below the string line my friend uh, my cousin's friend put a, a screw just below this the the string line this helps in making the lumber the 10 by 2 lumber straight as i go i'm gonna explain as i go along and this point here I was supposed to have stick footing, stick footing, but I'll change this to a stick footing very soon. I chose the OSP board for most of it, but I'm also thinking using a fast foot. I've seen a YouTube video. I plan to do a video on that too as well. I still have to do a lot of bracing uh, just to make this more stronger. But it's strong now. I'm going to be drilling uh, every point here and putting a rebar. I'm going to drill every post. I'll put a rebar in there just to make sure it doesn't go nowhere. I'm going to be drilling through here also. And I put a bar to make sure they tie together. And then it's going to be, of course, a rebar inside. Every four feet, it's going to be number 10 rebar. Uh, actually, number 15 rebar is going a foot and a half deep to anchor to the bedrock. So the house doesn't go nowhere. Here's where it starts to step down, about three feet. I stepped it twice. Ontario building code states you have to go at maximum 600 millimeter vertical and at minimum 600 millimeter horizontally for step footing. So I followed that guide and I went 16 inch uh, between one step to the other for the ICF block. So it's going to be built with ICF. It's going to be is it bracing all along. You can see the string line. And as my friend uh, explained earlier, this is where we put the screws just below the string line this helps you in keeping level it's really important you keep all the post all these posts level in all direction otherwise you can't do nothing and once you level it you also have to make sure that it's well anchored before you move forward we did the outside perimeter first and then afterwards we came in and did the inside every time we step down a little bit uh, 16 inch down all the way down to six feet drop there this whole area is going to be filled with uh, rock uh, and then uh, it's going to be labeled to this string line. Uh, it's it's uh, 40, 48 by 49 wide house in the outside measurement. It's two floor. It's going to be a big house. Nobody can afford uh, a house these days. Um, in Canada, we, the average income I think is around 50,000 and houses nowadays go for 600,000, especially in Ontario. Nobody can afford that. I have a family. Uh, there's no way I can survive. I'm going to be house poor and I know, um, you know, some people who are house poor and I don't want that to happen to me. So I figured that this I can build much cheaper by doing it this way and much bigger as well. Uh, so I'm going to have more videos to come on uh, different uh, parts of my project 
uh, one more video probably for step 40 uh, when I complete this part of the project and then more to follow this is my journey I'm inspired by the video that I've been watching on YouTube the couples that uh, were building a house ICF house in Montana and I find ICF uh, to be a really cool product and this whole house is going to be built with ICF and I will talk about uh, why I chose a certain way and hopefully I keep uh, these videos, YouTube videos short. Thank you very much. Bye.